Success is defined as an event that accomplishes its intended purpose. In a school district like Upper Dublin, with the quality teachers we have and resources that we have available, students should be able to be successful simply from work, tests, and activities in the classroom. How does the relentless bombardment of homework fit into that definition of success? Ask most adults, especially teachers, and they will agree that figuring out how to balance work and personal time is one of their top challenges in life. By harassing students so much with homework, isn't that teaching us the same unhealthy imbalance? Homework is just an unnecessary part of life that, if taken out of the equation, would make the balance equal again. Nobody enjoys doing homework, and teachers don't like checking it either, even if they do that. So what's the point? There is none. I spent countless nights staying up late to finish my assignments, and the only thing that it gave me was less sleep. If we didn't have homework, my life would be so much easier, and I would actually have time to do stuff that I wanted instead of being cooped up in my room for hours. A removal of homework everywhere would be ideal, but we can start with our district. Upper Dublin School District should ban homework because it is pointless busy work that significantly lessens the amount of sleep we get and conflicts with after-school activities. When President Bush was in office, he proposed the No Child Left Behind Act of 2001. The act was created to improve the education of children. However, the plan backfired when kids were getting tested like crazy and receiving too much pressure. In fact, teachers named the act No Child Left Untested. More testing and homework became too overwhelming for kids and teachers to handle. Unfortunately, kids are still receiving so much homework, especially younger kids. Even elementary school kids are getting their share of homework. However, research has shown that homework doesn't even improve test scores of students, especially younger children. Why should such young kids already have stress? For the sake of the kids in Upper Dublin, we should eliminate the main source of stress and other issues. First of all, homework is usually given by teachers simply to say that they gave their students work. So it is a lot of busy work that doesn't help with the comprehension of the lesson. In fact, a survey taken in 2007 of 777 students from 25 different high schools showed that half of them thought of their homework as busy work. At any school you go to, there will be students who find homework unnecessary. For example, Asia Dubow, a senior at Monument High School, said, Sometimes kids get homework and teachers don't grade it or look at it. It's not fair for those to actually do the homework. When teachers don't bother to look at the work that someone works so hard on, it's like a big slap in the face. Additionally, whether or not the student did the assignment doesn't matter because the work doesn't help kids better understand the lesson. Second, kids spend so much time on homework that they lose sleep. According to survey studies, most high school kids stay up past 11 finishing homework and almost half go to sleep past midnight. In fact, when I surveyed some of my friends, the data showed that almost half of them go to sleep past 11. As stated by many experts, kids should get between 8 and 10 hours of sleep. If you wake up at 6 each morning, this means that to get the recommended amount of sleep, you have to go to bed between 8 and 10. Additionally, when kids don't get enough sleep, they lose focus in class. While the teacher explains a new lesson in class, most students are half asleep. By the time they get home and are starting their homework, they will have no idea what to do, which creates a never-ending cycle of frustration. The hours of homework, along with the other various activities after school kids do, cause a lot of students to receive low, unhealthy amounts of sleep each night. Third, homework takes up a lot of time after school. It is hard to find time to do it, especially since most kids are involved with other types of after school activities. In fact, a survey in 2004 organized by the University of Michigan showed that there has been a 51% increase in how long kids spend during homework. In my survey, every single person had at least one after school activity. Siding with my argument, T.C. Williams, Principal Porter says, there are so many other activities for kids to get into now, they have less time than they used to have. As a matter of fact, some parents have complained that their child had to quit one of their after school activities because they didn't have enough time. While school life and personal life should be a balancing act, sometimes it's not able to be done, and school life brings down all the weight due to the incessant amount of homework students receive. Supporting my argument, Bruce Colley, a school administrator in Bainbridge Island, Washington, says, if a kid is working 9 and 10 hours a day on academics and sleep resources,
researchers say adolescents get ought to be getting 10 hours of sleep a night. That doesn't leave much time for showering, eating, or sports and other things. With such little time to finish everything, it is no surprise that homework also causes stress. Since homework is causing so many issues, why are students still going through with it? It should be stopped before these issues escalate into even worse situations. The students of Upper Dublin should sign a petition stating that they want homework gone. If everyone signs, then someone else can send the petition to each principal in Upper Dublin School District. Then, we should try to organize a meeting of staff and some kids to, and present this to the school board to try and finalize the ban of homework. Following this plan, homework could be out of our lives in a couple of months. In conclusion, Upper Dublin School District should ban homework because it is pointless, busy work that lowers the amount of sleep students get and it conflicts with after school activities. After all of these years of doing my homework, I have seldom found it necessary. Sometimes, the work is irrelevant to helping kids understand what was taught in class, and the teachers may not even check it. Also, students lose a lot of sleep because they have to stay up late and finish their homework. Lastly, homework piled on to after school activities make it virtually impossible to, get to go to sleep at a decent time. Even kids at such a young age as kindergarten are experiencing all the struggles homework provides. When we were in kindergarten, we went home at noon and didn't have to worry about a single thing. Now, poor little kids have to last the whole school day and are receiving homework. How much trouble with homework do kids have to deal with before adults realize the craziness of it? If we pay attention and participate actively in class, that alone will lead us to success. So, how much incremental success is actually being achieved through homework? We have everything we need to be in, in school to be successful. So why are we adding this extra pressure on students? If we already are achieving success in the classroom, wouldn't it be more beneficial to spend time outside of school doing what you want to do? All of the negatives caused by homework far outweigh and any benefit that it is said to have. We could, and in fact should, never have to worry about these problems again. By getting all the students in our district to sign a petition, we can get rid of the negatives brought on by homework and help us all achieve a healthier balance in our lives. That's